Happy 2021. My name is Satohiro Kondo, Managing Director of Yamaha Music Malaysia. It has been a rough 2020 for all of us, but I believe 2021 will be a better year ahead. I'm really excited today as I have a great news to inform to all guitarists in Malaysia. In line with Yamaha's brand promise to all customers, allow me to introduce Yamaha Guitar Saloon, Yamaha Music Malaysia initiative to create and provide a touch point for all guitarists to experience Yamaha's innovative and inspiring guitars such as our Lebster, Pacifica, Silent Guitar, and Trans Acoustic Guitar. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate our business partner, Music Breeze, for being the first appointed Yamaha Guitar Salon in Malaysia. I have confidence that Music Breeze and their trained sales personnel will support you well on your Yamaha guitars as well as Line 6 needs and inquiry. As a guitarist myself, one guitar is always not enough. Wouldn't you agree? So I welcome you to visit us at Yamaha Guitar Salon near you to find your next Yamaha guitar. Lastly, please enjoy our Guitar Salon video launch premiere featuring our guitar ambassador Nazrin, sharing on his experience with Yamaha guitars. Thank you.
Hello everyone, welcome to the premiere launching of Guitar Student Concept Store brought to you by Yamaha Music Malaysia. I'm Dave from Music Bliss and we are proud and honoured to be appointed the first Guitar Student Concept Store in Malaysia. And to celebrate this event, we have a very special guest. We have Mr. Nazrin, Yamaha's Guitar Ambassador, here today to have a little chat about the products that we are playing through as well as who he is and what he does for a living. And I'm going to give you a little teaser here. At the end of the video, we're doing a very special giveaway as, as well as a very special offer. So to find out how you can win a guitar, stay tuned till the end of this video to find out. Now let's get into the first question here with Mr. Nazrin. How are you, man? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Welcome to Music Bliss. Thank you. A lot of our audience here would like to know, who are you? How did you come about playing guitar? Uh, how did you get into this industry? And you know, what do you do for a living? Right. Hi, I'm Nazrin. I'm a composer and a musician. Um, started playing guitar when I was 12. Um, couldn't play sports, so I thought guitar would be cool to get friends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, in school I studied... Uh, well, first I self-taught. I bought a cheap guitar, learned all the chords by myself. Uh, studied classical guitar up the way to college and after graduation, um, start teaching guitar, uh, beginners, advanced, teach classical, um, and then I start to perform in clubs. And while working in uh, clubs, get uh, had the opportunity to meet other musicians, and from there I start to session for a few artists, um, in the likes of Atilia Aron, and managed to get myself into the jazz scene, played with Michael Verapan and uh, WVC, Malaysian Jazz Ensemble. And from there, I um, started to teach um, jazz guitar and R&B and soul. I teach at uh, college. I teach um, one-on-one classes. And I do have my own music. It's on Spotify. You can check it out. Nazrin, revisit. That's my EP on Spotify. Cool. Sweet. So I noticed you have a really beautiful guitar over there. So that is the Yamaha Revstar series guitars. And I'm wondering, how did you come to know about the Revstar guitars? Did you already know about Yamaha Revstar before becoming ambassador, or how, how did it all happen? Um, bef yeah, it was definitely before I was I became an ambassador. I think it was four years ago, something like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, through a friend of mine who's also a musician, uh, he said I needed a humbucker guitar because all my life I've played this single coil guitar. So, you know, as guitarists, one is never enough. Pretty sure you know that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, saw this Revstar, totally hooked on the look, uh, gave it a try. The first model I had was the RS420, and I thought it was great. Um, the weight, the sound, it's, uh, for me, uh, from based on my personal experience, it's like Swiss knife, it does everything. Mm -hmm. So, in that sense, can you show us with this RSP20 model, what are some of the tones that you like on this guitar? So, um, versatility, that's what I think when I play Revstar. So, uh, in my line of work, I usually played funk, R&B, soul, and sometimes when I have uh, when the opportunity comes, I play jazz. So um, going through the neck pickup, when I play in jazz ensembles, I just roll down the tone knob a bit. Yeah, somewhere maybe two, three. Okay, maybe one. So, so I will play something like. So it works. Um, this guitar is pretty good on the funk too. So here it sounds like. All right. And maybe a bit country. Now another cool feature about this Revstar guitar is there is actually a high pass filter on the tone knob. So it may be a humbucker guitar but you can kind of get single coil tones from this guitar. So let's kind of hear some of those tones there. Alright, so yeah, okay, maybe some Hendrix.
So oh, with shit. that, I use the, the high pass filter. High pass filter. filter. So yeah, yeah. you can just easily pull and push that down. Now what you're hearing there just now is the guitar going through the HX Storm and the HX Storm is going directly into our audio interface and it has a brilliant clean sound. So can you go through some of the other sounds that you go and use with this, uh, with this HX Storm? Alright, so I do use uh, chorus from time to time. So this is uh, in my clean preset. I'm using the male order twin on the path A. Mm -hmm. uh, my path B does the dynamic delay and plate reverb. So I like the the wet and dry uh, yeah. setup. In a way, uh, so this is my chorus sound. Let's give it a try. So that's how I use my chorus. Moving on, talking about guitars here, what Nazrin has is the Japanese made version of the Revstar, which is the RSP20. What I'm holding here is, is the R, sorry, the RS620, which is an Indonesian made guitar. Now you're probably asking what is the difference between both of them. Before that, some of the similarities are it has a mahogany neck, it still has the mahogany body and a maple body as well. It still has the high pass filter knob. But some of the major difference here is I don't have that sexy looking copper pick guard. I have a plastic pick guard here. Another key difference is the type of bridge. He's using a tone pros on there and this is the regular uh, factory made one. And uh, another thing that is really the biggest difference here is the IRA treatment. Now that is treatment that is done only on the Japanese made instruments. Now what is the IRA treatment? Basically when you buy a brand new guitar and you take it out of the box, you kind of need to Play it in, wear it down, you got you know, you got the sweat on it and all that, so you can mature the sound of the guitar. So what's cool about the Japanese guitars is they are already done with that, they are already done with the treatment which plays in the guitar. So you kind of get the tone of the guitar that's been played through weeks, months, years, whatever, and you get a much more mature tone. And moving on to the tone that I was running through, he was using the HX Tom, but I on the other hand was running through the Yamaha THR100H. It is the 100 watt head. It is a single channel, there is also a dual channel version, but here we have today a single channel and you have five different modes on the amp. So how we are recording this uh, head right here is there's actually an XLR out and it's going directly into the audio interface and I have an IR loaded into this amp. So the cool thing about this amp here is you can actually hook up a USB cable and you can do three different things here. You can load a custom IR, number one. Number two, there is a reverb on this amp and there's only a single knob here. But what's cool is if you hook up the USB cable and open up the THR app, you can change it to three other different reverbs. So total there are four. You have a spring reverb, a plate, room and hall. And what I have here is the spring reverb turned on. Other than that, there is also a boost. Now the boost is basically like a boost overdrive pedal. So if you can flick on the toggle switch, you can turn on a boost. And with the software, you can select up to three different boosts, a white, green and orange. And this will give you different gain clipping stages as well as gain stages so and you can adjust the amount of boost with this knob right here another excellent feature on this amp is on the back here you'll notice me rotating a knob so what this knob does is it is actually a tube emulation so it gives you tube emulations from 6L6, 6V6, EL34, EL84 and KD88 and what that does is it changes the response of the amp and how it feels and how it sounds so first we're going to check out the first mode on the amp which is called the solid mode now the solid mode is designed specifically to be a pedal platform kind of sound. So it takes pedals really well. It is a high headroom, big sounding clean tone. So I have the solid mode right now and here, this is how it sounds. So that is the solid mode. Now the next one is called a clean mode and the clean mode is more of a tube emulator type amp. So the harder you dig into the strings, you're going to hear the tone break up.
and you can easily introduce a boost into that. Next up, you have a crunch mode, and I'm going to flick over to EL84 type tubes. Next is a really cool lead mode, and I'm going to flick to EL34 type tubes. Introduce a boost, pump up the gain. And if you need a much more higher gain mode, you can go all the way to the modern mode. I'm going to go to KD88. So that was the five different modes on this particular amp. Really versatile, you can get everything from really clean stuff. I guess you can do jazz, blues, yeah. rock, metal, everything you want. And you can run it into a cabinet. You can use the XLR out and go directly into your mixer interface, whatever you want to do. So that's the end of part one. We have checked out all the electric guitar products. So stay tuned as we go to part two, where we check out more of the acoustic guitars from Yamaha. And of course, stay tuned till the end to check out the giveaway and special prizes.
we are back with part two where we are checking out a couple of acoustic guitars. So what I'm holding here is from the Trans Acoustic series and what Nazarene is holding is from the Red Label series. And what you're playing is the FGX5, I believe. So have you played this guitar before? This is my first time actually. Yep. So yeah. And what are you feeling about, you know, this guitar? Huh. Like, okay, before this project, what do you use? Do you use any acoustic guitars live? Yes, I do. Um, I, uh, for live setup, I usually use my silent guitar, the steel yeah. string. Mm -hmm. So, I found one similarity, uh, the mic blend, which I like. Uh, because it gives me the flexibility. Like, I can choose between the pickup and the mic. Mm -hmm, yeah, so what's cool yeah. about uh, his model is, it has something called the Atmosphere Pickup. So it actually has a few different pickups there. It has the piezo underneath the saddles and it has a couple more mics uh, underneath the soundboard. So you can actually blend those different tones right there, cool. right? Sweet, yes. So maybe you can give us a, a bit more tone samples there. You can play without the mic blend and you can, you know, turn in the mic blend. Let's hear okay, how so, the settings are. Yeah, this is how it sounds like with a pickup. So this is a little bit more, uh, maybe around two or three. Go. The middle, in the, this is uh, the tone in the middle. This is all the way to the mic. So it's really cool to hear that the piezo pickup is giving you more of the low end tone and the more you blend the, uh, the mics in, you kind of get the more high end and mid range tones from the guitar. So that's really nice. And another cool thing about this guitar is it actually has a ebony fretboard and an ebony bridge there. So I believe the ebony is a much more denser wood, thus it's providing a bit more attack. So maybe we can give it some tones, a bit more like, you know, solo-ish kind of uh, plucking like single note. Okay, start out, I'm gonna start with the pickup. Okay, let's blend it all the way to the other side. So you're going to blend in more of the mics instead. That's all the way. Whoo! Absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Now what I'm holding here is something called the Trans Acoustic and what's interesting about uh, this series of guitars is it actually has built-in effects so it actually has a chorus and a reverb and what's cool is you don't need to be plugged into the pickup you can actually get the effects to resonate out of the sound hole so here it is without any of the effects If I were to turn this on and let me double check if it's turned on Alright, cool So now I'm going to introduce some reverb in this guitar. Oh, it's <laughs> <Yeah>. a lot. <laughs> and besides reverb, it also has a chorus built into the guitar. So now, what's very really nice about this guitar is I don't need to be plugged into an amp or mixer and I can still achieve 
the reverb and chorus tones coming out of the guitar. So there is actually a transducer underneath the soundboard, so it is actually picking up the vibration of the strings, it is going through that and it is projecting the effect uh, via the amount of air inside the body of the guitar. So if you like more sounds on how it, you know, it, it sounds without being plugged into a mixer or interface, you can check out on the Music Bliss YouTube channel, there is actually a demo on the FTTA where we demo it with a condenser mic so you can truly hear the effect coming out, out of the sound hole. So let me just play a bit more tones on this thing, right? So uh, I really love the chorus on full blast, it's just... Who doesn't like chorus, right? <laughs> And I'd like to mention, there's actually two different reverbs. There's a room and hall reverb. So let's crank up the room reverb. So it's a bit more of a shorter decay. Now let's go to the hall reverb. And that is a much more bigger space. Now, for those of you who are curious about tone wood, well, these guitars, uh, this one comes with an Engelman spruce top. That one is a Sitka spruce top. This one has rosewood back and sides. That one has mahogany. And this is a rosewood fretboard, I believe. Let me just double check with my guy over there. This is the rosewood fretboard. Ebony, huh? This is ebony and that is ebony as well. But what's nice about that one is they kind of matched all of it with ebony bridge pins and a beautiful Ebony pig guard. Uh, let's quickly swap guitars and hear right. how they sound. Yeah. <sighs> Now that we've swapped guitars, uh, what do you think about uh, this one and that one? Is there any you prefer one or the other? What do you think about the tones? Well, everything I need is that one. <laughs> it has the looks, <laughs> yep. the badass look, whatever yep. you described just now. It yep. works for me and the, the mic blend. Yes. Yeah, that will give me some flexibility with yeah. what I do. This is definitely sexy with the ebony yeah. pins. But this one also out. sounds fun. Yep. Yeah, with the whole chorus and reverb thing. Like what I feel with this one especially, like if I'm sitting alone in a room and I want to, you know, write songs, just want to jam along by myself. I don't want to plug into my pedal board or I don't want to plug into an amp to, you know, give me that ambience and effects Well, that guitar is great as it already has it built in. But if you talk about warmth and, you know, a really big sound, this thing, this thing is something else. It's a really beautiful guitar. <laughs> Now, don't just leave yet, we got the final part where we are giving away guitars, so stay tuned. Now, for the most exciting section of this stream is the giveaway. So, now we are giving away a few guitars to a few lucky winners, and how you'd be entitled to win is all you have to do is leave a comment down below in this video saying why I want a guitar in less than 30 words. And the best comments will be selected to win a Yamaha F310 acoustic guitar. And besides that, we are offering some really special prizes 
for the Trans Acoustic Series, the FG, FS and CSF, as well as the Yamaha Silent Guitars will be going at a 30% discount rate. So if you want to catch that, please swing by the Music Bliss showroom and look for those guitars because stocks are really limited. So to conclude all of this, I would like to give special thanks to Yamaha Music Malaysia. Thank you, Mr. Nazrin, for giving us your time, sharing with us some of your tones from the HX Storm and playing through the Revstar and acoustic guitars. I'm Dave from Music Bliss. If you want to look for guitars, do swing by Music Bliss showroom and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.